Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a live update because a lot has changed. As you can see, I'm in a location that I've never been in before on the vlog. The last time I posted a video, I was in a dorm and now I'm in my apartment. I'm just gonna kind of give a little life update before I start posting all these videos about living alone, moving into an apartment, because I am filming. It's either a vlog or like a what I eat in a day or something. It's kind of a mixture of all that, but that'll be posted after this because I want to update you first. So I live in an apartment and right now i currently live alone i do have a roommate rebecca my best friend she was in that last video that i did but she just is living at home for the summer but i have a job here and i'm working here actually in a hospital I haven't started yet that will be another update in another vlog because that will probably be a whole thing in it of itself because it's a big thing i've been in this apartment tomorrow will be a week which is crazy it does not feel like it's been a week it literally feels like i'm just moved in like two days ago i'll do an apartment tour once everything is done right now there's still a few things that i don't have like my bed is on the floor right now and that's not even my bed that's just the top bunk of my brother's bunk bed at home it's basically like my dorm bed because i just put my mattress topper and then the same sheets and stuff that i had on that other bed and then i also don't have my couches i'm getting those tomorrow my parents got new couches so i'm getting their old ones which is how a lot of things worked out in this apartment probably i would say 90 percent if not 95 percent of the things in this apartment are all secondhand whether that's given to me by a family member or i bought it secondhand whether from the thrift store or from facebook marketplace oh i also don't have a washer and dryer yet i have pretty much this whole corner set up i have my desk and then this dresser over here both of them were given to me so i'm very blessed like the lord just kind of let all of the things fall into place with getting this apartment in and with the move-in date and with just all the things like it's all just the lord's work and it's really cool to see but that's about it this semester really did whenever i filmed that video i should have went back and watched that video so that i could kind of see where i was at at that point because at that point i thought that my tail was getting whooped and it really just kicked up a notch i feel like last semester i had time to watch Jane the virgin watched that throughout the whole semester i just had like a lot of time i feel like and then this semester i was just kind of doing homework studying like all the time but it paid off because i got all a's thank the lord which is crazy because i got an a in anatomy and physiology which was craziness completely once again not me it was the lord because i was leaning on him the entire time literally my entire life is just a testimony of the lord's work because i could not do any of what i do without him that's also been really cool i feel like my relationship with the lord has grown a lot my first year of college and i know that's not the case for a lot of people so i just feel really blessed and i'm just very excited to see i had 18 hours this last semester that was just a lot in this next coming semester i have 16 so i feel like it's going to be a little easier but i'm just going to talk you through my summer because that's kind of like where the next huge thing is but i'm really hoping that i'm still gonna have time to make youtube videos because i want to do a lot of apartment videos i was thinking the other day i was like how do all these youtubers live alone i've lived alone for like a week at a time like when i house sit and it's during the summer when i have other things going on and there's dogs there and you know things to keep me company and so this has been a little different because there are no animals here and a lot of people are home for the summer and i am not home for the summer i'm in the town my college is in which is not at home but i do have friends who live here and who stay here what the heck was i saying <laughs> i really don't know oh my golly that really happens i feel like too frequently oh that's what i was saying i was like thinking about all the youtubers and i was like how do all these youtubers live alone and they're fine because i've lived alone before house sitting that's what i was saying for like a week at a time and then i was like wow they're youtubers so they talk to a camera a lot of the time so they're not technically alone even though i know you're still alone but like you know you're at least talking to something it's better than not talking at all my summer plans i got a job at the hospital here as a patient care associate which is basically a cna but not certified and i feel like they actually get to do more which is crazy honestly i don't know if i've ever said on my channel but i do have my cna license because my senior year of high school i was able to do like a nursing education class and then at the end of it i got to take my cna test to get my license i've never used it but that helped to get the job so i went through the interview process then i got word that i got the job like two weeks ago and then i went through pre-employment things like the physical and then a bunch of paperwork and it's been a week since i've done that so i'm just waiting to hear when i'm going to start but since it's thursday it's kind of looking like it's going to be more next week so i'm excited to make videos about day in the life of a cna even though i'm not technically a cna i'm technically am a cna because i'm licensed as a cna so i might just use that as a title because i feel like pca just isn't as cool <laughs> so yeah i have that and then I have to take the HESI this summer because I'm 
applying for nursing school in August. You have to give like a brief essay for like why you're interested in the nursing career. I've done that over the last two days because I'm just trying to do little things here and there that are keeping me busy. I've still been working out like every other day. I pretty much am on campus every day whether I'm at the gym and then the next day I went on a walk and then the next day I was at the gym and then I also went and talked to my advisor because my advisor is my favorite person ever and I just went and we like talked for like an hour and it was the best thing ever. And I was just like, I'm so glad that you're my advisor and that I love you and that I can just come in here and talk to you because I know a lot of people don't feel that way with their advisor so I feel very blessed that I love my advisor and then today actually wasn't like technically on campus but like I passed campus whenever I went to get my second round of TB skin test for pre-employment after I take the HESI, which I haven't even studied for, I need to study for that. Which my advisor said I'll be fine and I don't need to study, but I'm trying to believe her, but I don't really believe her. I'll probably apply to nursing school in June because I'd rather just get that done before my summer class starts because then at the end of June, I start my summer class. It's A&P2. I'm taking it in five weeks. <laughs> but normally for nursing school, for my school at least, it ends up you have to take two sciences your sophomore one and so i'm not about to be doing that i feel like i'm talking with my hands a lot but i feel like i also don't know what to do when there's a lot of space to fill up because this room is huge and i never would like to have this huge of a room in my life but anyways <laughs> so pretty much all nursing students that i've talked to they're like oh yeah if i had one piece of advice it would be for you to take amp2 over the summer and not with the other science so i'm doing that and it's on campus it's five days a week for five weeks three hours a day <laughs> So I'm gonna be thriving. That's why I'm trying to get my training done before that class starts. And I also have to take the HESI before that starts. And I also would love to apply to nursing school before that starts. Just a lot going on. Then that ends like the last week of July. And I really wanna take a fun, whether it's like a two day trip or maybe it's just one night. I wanna take a fun trip in August because I would just love to do that. I feel like after this summer, I'm gonna deserve a little break. I would just love to explore somewhere new that's near me. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be doing that alone. Now that I've talked to you, you're off. And if I get into nursing school, then I'll be starting in the spring semester. There's a lot of things that I could make videos about. That's just a quick little update about like what you can expect to see from me from now on. And hopefully I'll have that next video, whatever it turns out being posted soon after this. So yeah, there's a lot going on in my life, but I'm excited to bring y'all along on the ride with me. But if you have any questions, oh, also if you want to see like a how's my first year of college like, either a video of me just talking or if you want to ask me questions then feel free. I'm probably gonna edit this like right away and post it right away because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean like the world to me, like so much to me. Thank you so much for watching, even though I know it's been a hot minute. Like, I thank you for still sticking around and watching this video. It does mean a lot to me and I see you and I appreciate you and I love you. Bye.